my understanding is the, the way I look at it is that the dizziness and vertigo is a symptom. And then there are actual conditions that can cause that. And one of those is like a, a positional, benign positional vertigo that has, and sort of the, the source is the inner ear where there's crystals mm -hmm. that are out of whack and they're out of place and they can try, sort of jostle, creating the sense of movement. But then there's other conditions that are within the wheelhouse of audiologists because all of this is new to me. So like blow me away with conditions that you guys can or, or do, I wouldn't even say diagnose, but you can either rule in or help rule in or help rule out, right? Right, so BPPV, what you mentioned is um, one of the most common that we'll see and it has like a very clear symptom. So it's if people roll over on one side or the other, they experience a spinning sensation for you know two to three minutes um, and it can be, not, they can have nausea, they may not have nausea, but it's very clear spinning, um, but it's for a very short duration of time. Um, but that can be very um, startling whenever you roll over in bed one morning and now all of a sudden your your room is spinning. So um, that's a very common uh, one. Um, and <clears throat> again, we may see people fr with that complaint or physical therapy will see people for that complaint. The nice thing that is that that is actually treatable through an epley maneuver. So if that is the diagnosis, then either an audiologist or a physical therapist can usually treat that. Um, and then it'll oh. clear up. Unfortunately, it also can come back whenever, you know, at any time. Um, once you yeah. have it once, you're more likely to get it again. But at least then you know who to contact for for that yeah. maneuver. Um, the other common complaint is Meniere's disease. That is actually um, like a trifecta of like three specific symptoms. So one is hearing loss. Typically,